This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, January the 24th, 2019. Today in 1908, British Army officer and avid outdoorsman Lord Robert Baden Powell organized the first troop of Boy Scouts. Five years earlier, Powell had returned from deployment in Africa to find that his manual of wilderness survival was being used by youth organizations and military folks alike. The book, Aids to Scouting, became the first Boy Scout handbook. And there were actually many boys-only and girls-only outdoor programs all over Europe at the time. And many of these just adopted the second edition of Powell's book, which was called Scouting for Boys, as their official text. Troops began to form spontaneously all over England and then around the world. The first U.S. scout troop was formed in 1910, only two years later. In 1920, an international jamboree was held in West Kensington, and Lord Baden-Powell was named Chief Scout of the World. By the mid-1920s, Powell was traveling the world, visiting and encouraging the so-called scouting movement. Despite the implosion of scouting in the U.S., first due to video games and changing mores among the young, and then due to abysmal PC-oriented leadership, which tanked the once great BSA in five years, scouting in Europe remains hugely popular and even has close ties to the church. Scouts, or scouts as it's often pronounced over there, are frequently part of the organizing group for major pilgrimages in France and Germany. Today, in 1968, American gymnast Mary Lou Retton was born. The 1976, 1980, and 1984 Olympics were intense. Many people saw competition between the U.S. and the USSR or USSR-affiliated nations at those games as an allegory for the nuclear standoff of the Cold War. In 1980, the U.S. defeated the USSR in ice hockey. It's called the Miracle on Ice. And the next year, the next Olympics, rather, the USSR boycotted the whole event and refused to come to Los Angeles in 1984. And since women gymnastics had become a thing, the Eastern Europeans had always dominated. So Romania and Belarus were these dynasty powerhouses. And while the U.S. had done respectably, garnering a few bronze medals and an occasional silver, In 1984, the games were held in Los Angeles, and the eyes of the world were on these Soviet-affiliated nations, because the the USSR refused to attend, especially a young woman named Ektarina Shabo of Romania. Mary Lou Retton came from a couple of bronze and silvers on the four apparatus into the all-around finals, looking poised for a strong second-place finish. Retton was behind Shabo by 15 hundredths of a point, going into the floor exercises, where she shocked the world with a perfect 10. Retton was last to vault, trailing behind Jabo by an impossibly small margin, but she had to have a perfect 10 on vault, which wasn't possible because of a recent knee surgery. On her first pass, Retton landed an error, and she seemed to injure her knee. She was limping back to the start line. She had another pass, but could she even run? tears pouring down her face and with the world watching, Mary Lou Retton ran full speed at the vault and landed a perfect 10 and the whole world was stunned. She took gold in the most dramatic possible fashion. It was unbelievable. Retton is 50 now, but she was only 16 when she was the center of the world's attention at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.